everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 12, as well as Isaiah chapter 26, verse 5. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for this word. Thank you for understanding and wisdom. Lord God, help us to take this word to heart and help us to learn from it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 12. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I have been fully known. All right, so this is the love scripture, but here specifically, this is talking about a time when we won't have to um, know in part, right? We won't have to hear prophetic words that don't reveal everything, but only reveal things in part. And, and we have to get our understanding, our wisdom from the Holy Spirit. And then eventually we would know fully the, the full, um, understanding of what it is the Holy Spirit is trying to tell us, um, that the father is trying to give to us. So um, here it's just saying that in general, when we are on this earth, we can only see dimly, right? We can only see part of what's there and that's through the revelation, right? So what we see in the physical is not necessarily what's there. It's, it's what's in the spirit that is revealed partially. And so it's saying for now we see in a mirror dimly, almost like we're looking into a faded glass, like a faded mirror, um, like you can see yourself, but only um, distorted and, and, and slightly um, not really truly what's there, right? But just something, you can make out something. And that's how we live our lives spiritually. We can only know in part by what the Holy Spirit is telling us, by what the Holy Spirit is revealing to us. Um, and it says, but then, meaning in the future, when we have Christ, when we are there with him, when we're in the new Jerusalem, when we're, when all things are made new, right? And we're living in this thousand year reign, we're going to be able to see face to face. It's going to all become clear. There won't be any mirror dimly anymore. It says, now I know in part, so meaning um, our knowledge that we have is only in part. Why? Because we have the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus as the cornerstone. But what we know of that, we have a full understanding of, of what we have an understanding of, right? But then we don't even know what we don't know, right? So it's just, we, we're, there's, there's some in part and some fully, just like when we're studying the book of Revelation, we can only know that some things might be symbolic. Some things might be actual. Um, all these things are prophetic words that have been revealed by the spirit of the Lord his apostles and prophets and, and we'll know fully at some point in time, but all we know is in part right now. And it says, then I shall know fully, even as I have been fully known because Christ already knew us right from the foundation of the earth, he was crucified. So there wasn't a time where he didn't know us as his creation. He knew who he was going to create. He knew everything, right? So um, just like we have been fully known, we shall know as well. All right. And so this is completed today with Isaiah chapter 26, verse five, for he has humbled the inhabitants of the height, the lofty city. He lays it low, lays it low to the ground, cast it to the dust. So it says, for he has humbled the inhabitants of the height. So that is just saying that those who are living um, in the height or or as not having been humbled, um, they are the ones who are going to be brought low at some point in time. And then it says um, the lofty city. Um, and, and I like to think of that as those who are rich, those who don't have need, those who um, are are seeing their riches and their lifestyle as approval from God, if there's a God in their mindset, you know, they, they feel that, you know, if there is a God, then they feel that, well, we have his approval, right? And so, because we wouldn't be 
blessed like this, right? We wouldn't be rich like this or, or almost like the, um, what is it called? Um, manifest destiny type thing, like where we're supposed to be the rulers kind of attitude. And so, um, it says, for he has humbled the inhabitants of the height, the lofty city. He lays it low, lays it low to the ground, cast it to the dust. So meaning that, um, he's gonna level everything, right? He's at some point in time in the future, which it sounds basically like what we're, the the conflation, um, it, it's going to be all made clear, right? It's going to be all level. It's all going to be on the same playing field and everything will be exposed. So to be humbled in this line um, is, is in line with gaining understanding, right? So when these people are in their high place, this is the conflation now. Let me reread the conflation scripture, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 12. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I have been fully known. And then so in Isaiah 26, when it says, for he has humbled the inhabitants of the height, that height is in line with gaining understanding, like um, bringing it low to gain understanding because they are high in their own eyes, right? They are are, are, are high-minded high in their attitudes and that needs to be brought low and so they're bringing it low when God brings it low he brings them into an ability to understand right they have been humbled now so they can truly see they are only seeing in part right now because they're seeing with their fleshly mindset their carnal mindset and so when they are brought low, they are brought into true understanding and that's their face to face, right? That's their uh, ability to, to see properly um, the way that God wants them to see face to face and, and not necessarily in a mirror dimly, right? Um, they don't know in part anymore. They, they'll see fully and they have been fully known. All right. And so that lofty, that lofty city, that high heights, those things will be brought low. That is um, seeing clearly height um, and loftiness is kind of equated with pride and without need or, or having great riches and wealth. Um, when all things are laid bare, uh, then you'll have clarity and understanding um, not by the world standard, but by God's standard. Um, when the high is brought low, it exposes high mindedness. Um, and in, it exposes high mindedness in the presence of a holy God, um, in the presence of a truly high God, a high and truly lofty God, right? He is the truth. He is, he is the true height of heights, right? There's no one higher than him. And so when you expose these things to God um, and he brings them low, he's going to expose their pridefulness. He is going to expose their, their wrongness, right? Because his, his is of truth. He, he is truly the one who is high. And so it says all issues unwilling to be dealt with are exposed so if they were unwilling to see themselves um um be it in part or not um they they are they will be willing to because they will be brought low at that time right and so this can be equated with the thousand year reign um where where all of these things will be made new um, anything that's too high will be brought low and all the low will be brought high. Um, and, and our understanding will be face to face, right? Because we will have Christ with us. We will have the new Jerusalem. There won't be any division between us. It will all be made known. And it says, I shall know fully, even as I have been fully known. So, yeah, it it will. Um, this is when prophecies will cease. This is when we won't have to know things in a mirror dimly, right? Because we will have the truth right there before us, fully exposed. Amen. All right, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for exposing the truth in us, Lord God. Thank you for doing it before it had to be done to us, Lord Jesus. Lord God, help us to fully surrender. Help us to fully 
be known to you and and for us to know you, Lord God. Let us not have to be humbled in any negative way, but Lord God, help us to fully surrender, Lord Jesus, before before any of that, before the high have to be made low, Lord God. Help us to just get down and surrender. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, you guys, if there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross, and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God. Jesus, sit on the throne of my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. In your name I pray, Jesus. Amen. All right, if you pray that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth. He's going to show you the way with the Lord. All right, you guys. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.